This is my father's presentation. This is another three minutes. What is the product? Income protection. Mr. Client, everyone falls in four categories. Luxury, comfortable, hand to mouth, and charity. Let's assume there is a family which is comfortable. Now this family is comfortable because this is what we call man at work. Someone is working to make sure that this family stays comfortable. But if this man at work is removed, this family will immediately start to fall down and it could go down straight to charity from family members. So to hold this family over here, I need to immediately put a pump of money. Because if there's no man at work, there should be money at work. And the simplest way to do that is have five times your annual income as income protection. Do you have any questions? No? All right, great. Sign here. And the third strategy that I use the most, which is what I want to share with you. The third strategy is what we call the assumed close strategy. Yeah? The assumed close strategy is where you have already assumed the client has agreed to buy. And you start doing paperwork. You don't even ask their opinion. I'll give you an example. You go to the doctor and the doctor says, um, yeah, I think you have um, you have an asthma problem. All right. Uh, I'm writing your prescription. Do this, do this, do this. Take this to the nurse. She'll give you the medicine. What is that? You have, the doctor has assumed you will take the medicine, correct? Why can't you do the same thing? Why can't you do exactly the same thing? Okay, we have identified, example, it works best for this one. Um, your family is comfortable because man at work, if the fam if you are not man at, is not at work, we need to put a pump, which is money at work. And the simplest formula to that is five times of annual income. So your income, how much is your income? Let's assume it's $10,000 if they don't give you an answer within 30 seconds, not 30, two seconds. If within two seconds, they don't give you an answer, you assume close. How? You do a hypothetical number. You use a... Hypothetical number like $10,000. Simple number. Easy to multiply. 5 times 120, that'll be about uh, $720,000. Done. Okay. Uh, now, I need your passport copy. It's assumed closed. You start asking for documents that you would require. So, in Singapore, you need the IC, right? Can I have a copy of your IC and I need you to be able to transfer the money? Would you prefer trans uh, transferring the money, writing a check or paying my credit card? Which one would you prefer? You go straight to assumed close. What is the next thing that will happen? What will you get? Objections. What's the objection you will get? Sanjay, at least let me think about it. True? Fantastic. I'm going to give you 14 days or 21 days to think about it. Free look period. True or not? You have 14 to 21 days to think about it. I'm still going to process the paperwork because you need it. Period. Do you have any other questions? 